What is up, STEM friends? I am back, and we are doing another Star Wars The Force Part 3 um, exercise, or activity, or stream, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do it. So I got my uh, little, um, I don't even know what they call it. What do they call it? Um, little uh, motion device thing set up. I got my iPad set up, and uh, I'm set up. So, got everything going. So let's do this. Now we left off on the force push last time, so we're gonna start on the puzzle, which might take me all 15 minutes, but we'll see. Here we go. What's it say? Do or do not. There is no try. I wonder if I can, let's see here, I'm not going to count this as part of the, it's so saturated, zero, oh wait, I'm going up. Contrast to zero. Okay. Hopefully you can see it a little better. I've noticed it's been hard to read the uh, screen, but whatever. Okay. Let's start. Let's. So we're gonna levitate the X-wing. So puzzle. I have it on good authority that levitating a starship is no different to moving rocks. It's only different in your mind. Either way, use the code blocks in your hand to solve the puzzle and raise the X-Wing. Okay. Let's see. So what blocks should we use? I'm going to try this one first. Force kit while present. And then apply force on. Does that come on every time I do this? Just did. Apply force on X wing by direction. Wait. Down? No, we want to go up, right? Strength 3,000. 3, nope, that's not right. Up. How do you did it? I'm not trying for you, but how will you use your new powers? I don't think I did it though. Can we try it again? Can we try it again? Okay, so we're gonna take this. And this. X-Wing. The direction mean up strength six hundred. So all force is present. Levitate it that way. No. Object. Oh, we can't do it on that one. By direction. Hmm, what's this one do? Set position of X-Wing. What does that do? No, oh, nothing. Anyways, so I think you would go up. Oops. So while there's force, apply force on the X-Wing. Or I guess we could do all. By direction, strength. Let's see. Play force inside a loop to push the X wing. Yes. Oh. Play. 
inside it will loop. Yeah, I don't know, it gave me, for some odd reason it gave me credit for this, but it didn't do it. So let's see, what did we do for the levitating rocks? Does anyone remember? Um, object created according to my, okay, physics tray. Yeah, that's what we did. Boom. Objects, math. Oh, we didn't have math. So, force kit. Change that to find. We already did this one, guys, but. Yeah, we did this. That's what we did. That's what we did. We went, whoops, while present, apply. X-wing. Did we do a direction? I wish this saved it, <laughs> but it doesn't. Okay, next, physics, yeah. Yop, 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 mad, strength. Oh, no, yeah, it doesn't do direction. Maybe that's why. Maybe keep it at zero. Force kit. Divide. By two. Boom. Nice. Um. Hmm. I wonder why that's not working. I wonder why. Move this over. So while it's present. Direction. We did all. Strength. 10,000. What does that do? Yeah, it's just straight not working. So that's good. Hmm. Apply force inside a loop to push the X wing upwards. And we can try again. So when we swipe direction forward, let's do this one. What does it do? Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm sorry this isn't working. Whew. Force gets like not even. Can't even add this in here. It's not even triggering. Repeat while present. I am present. It's not even going. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Maybe if we close out. Whoops. Open it up again. We'll see what happens. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be done. Present. Oh yeah, see, it worked now. I floated up a little too high though. Do two. No. Oh. Five hundred. Oh, did it just stop? It just stopped. 
Okay, well that's how it works. That was a good waste of whatever, however much time. Anyways, next one. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Da -da -da -da. Who will you levitate? Hmm, I don't know. Claim a victory in the Galactic Civil War. Change the code and choose a side. Choose the ideas below for inspiration. Levitate different characters. Change the background. Choose different sound to play. Okay. Alright, so we're going to levitate different characters. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I skipped that. Okay, levitate different characters. Pick a different character from the list. Ooh, this is going to be fun, I think. Okay. Pick a different character from the list. You probably can't even see that. Here, I'll zoom in. Way too much. Try, try a Thai fighter pilot. Got it. I kind of want to do C-3PO. <laughs> oh, they got even Baby Yoda on here. That's awesome. But it's in alphabetical order. Okay. Thai fighter pilot. Cool. And then, yeah, we'll do Rebel Trooper. Speaker loop. Death Star alarm. That's scary. What's this one? Tatooine. Why does the Death Star alarm the only thing that works? I like this one. Okay, levitated some different people. Actually, I'm gonna change this to this guy. No, Chewy. Yeah. <laughs> change the background. All right. Edit what I want to be. Put them out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Choose a different sound to play. I already did that. Alright, cool. Next. Ooh, we're done with that one. On to the next one. Become a pilot. Get a couple more in here, I guess. Pilot and X Wing. Nice. Red 5, standing by. Oh, hello again. Did you know the X Wing is a nimble and versatile Rebel Alliance starfighter? Do you have the skills to pilot one? I don't know. Let's see. Start out by adding sound to the X Wing. Add a speaker part using the add parts button. Interesting, I've never done this before. Open the speaker tray. Okay, drag the speaker loop block onto the code space. Wow, this is cool. You can add anything up. Change lightsaber hum to X-wing interior. Oh, thank you. Okay, sounds like space. Add a loot block from the control tray. Okay, where are we adding this boy? There we go. Change seconds to frames from the drop down list to make the loop run faster. You're going to use this loop to move the X Wing every frame. Open the physics tray. Ooh, we're getting deep into this. Drag the object LERP block onto the code space. We've used LERP before, I don't really understand what it is. Change all. Does it let me? Does it like give me a help? Oh, it doesn't even let me do it. Hmm. Anyways, change all to X Wing behind. 
X-Wing behind. <laughs> Move the X-Wing left and right using the force kit pointer X block. Open the force kit tray. Drag the force kit pointer X block into the code space. Wee position force kit pointer X. Okay, so that's where the X is gonna be. Oh man, my battery's on. Anyways, um, change five percent to two percent. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Move your hand left and right to pilot the X-wing. I'm afraid our GD2 can't help you. Okay, so we're just lurping. Nice. That's cool. So we're just moving. We're not moving up and down. We're just moving left and right. That's why we added the force kit pointer X. So we go up here as I'm moving. Let's move in right. Move in left. Whew. Pretty cool. All right, next one. Oh, this tells me about lerp. Nice. The object lerp block moves objects to a set position on the canvas smoothly. Every frame, the X-Wing will move 2% closer to the force kit pointer exposition. Thank you. I was wondering what lerp was. Next, you'll make the X-Wing bank left and right as it flies. Open the math tray. Lerp. Okay, we're lerping again, so smoothly moving. Change. Oh, wow. Look at it rotate. Change. 0 to 10. This will make the X-Wing bank 10 degrees to the right. 10. Change 200 to negative 10. 10, negative. Open the math tray. Drag this block into the code space. Oh, percentage. Okay. Now open the force kit. Now this is where we're going to be able to control it. We're adding another X access for the force kit, change plus to divide, change zero to eight. See how the X wing banks left and right as you move your hand. Okay, nice. So now it's more of a sway. Cool. Can't really hear what the. Use particles to make it look like you're flying through the star field. Open the particles tray. Ooh, let's go. Drag the block into the code space. Whoa. I'm assuming we're going to have to change this a little bit. Make the size of the particles a bit smaller so they look like stars. Open the particles tray to get the size block. Size. Okay. Add that. Start size, create. So we're setting where it gets created and the size. Change 20 to zero, really? Oh, okay. And then end size. So it starts at zero, goes to five. Wow. Change the position of the particle so that they move in the opposite direction of the X-wing. Open the math tray. Drag this into here. Change zero to eight hundred. Create at eight hundred. Change plus two subtract. Open the physics tray. Oh, physics tray. It sounds really intense. And change random to X wing behind. Oh, okay. Now add a force to the particles to control how fast they are. Open the particles tray. Force direction. Interesting. Because the force direction is set to 45, now all the particles are being pushed to the top right of the canvas or a 45 degree angle. Um, you need to push them in every direction. So open the math tray. Drag this block into the code space. Change 10 to 360 everywhere. Open the math tray again. Drag the lerp. Ooh, our new favorite thing. Move slowly to change 0 to 10. 
10, change 200 to 20, group from 10 to 20, open the force kit, force kit, proximity, I'll drag this block right there, force kit, proximity. Ah, uh, that's cool. So, looks like you're turning. Nice. So now we're flying our X Wing. You guys can see a little better when I open it up. It's pretty cool. Looks like there's stars going through. I don't know how well you can see that. But... Nice. So, we are officially X Wing pilots, like Luke. Luke Skywalker is one of the best pilots in the fleet. You're uh, not bad. We're pretty dang good. Actually, uh, never mind. That's all we have for today. I was going to review that, but that was a lot. So this one looks like a pretty interesting uh, little section here. Um, we'll continue in the next episode. I'm over time, so got to go, but... Um, in part four, we'll be looking at how to become a pilot. And again, thanks for staying with me. Um, that first activity was just being a little buggy, but we got through it and we got got into the becoming a pilot section. So we're getting through it. We're probably over half. Well, we're not over halfway yet, but we will be once we're done with this one. So I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Be safe. Have fun. Happy coding. See you later.